video. It is Thursday. I'm in a very fun mood today. Well, I don't know if it's fun. It's fun for me. Um, firstly, a whole bag full of groceries and snacks for myself. Leftovers, shepherd's pie last night. Love a shepherd's pie. And then literally just like mystery noodles, rice cakes, rice, oh my god. I'm addicted to rice pudding. I literally cannot stop eating it. I don't know why, but it's so good. Um, Cryver's hummus. You know, the usual assortment of things that don't go bad in the cupboard. So, oh. I have three appointments today, all great fun things that we're doing. Really looking forward to it. Also, I'm having a very good hair day. And by good, I mean big, which is what I Team good. And I remembered my love of skirts. Like I already know I'm obsessed with skirts and it's basically all I want to wear. And I hate wearing like jeans or whatever when I'm working 12 hour days or any hour days really and I'm sitting on my saddle stool. So I've just been wearing like sweatpants and been on the hunt for like cute sweatpants. But now I remembered skirts and I am happy again and I feel like I can wear an outfit that isn't just sweatpants and a sweater. This is a little bit of a wild outfit but you know just finished my first of the day we did a very cute valentine's day nails so just getting cleaned up because my next client will be here in about 15 minutes and then we'll have a little snack before she arrives um yeah i'm just like so buzzed because that first set was so cute so bag of bagels so I'm a half ate one of those and I'm just gonna get cleaned up my next client is in shortly and then I'm done how cute was that set that we done spring I'm literally losing my mind I'm obsessed so cute so cute Just finished up my last appointment of the day and I am ravenous. Um, but I go up to clean first. So I'm gonna do that and then go home and hopefully have some dinner. I mean, I will have some dinner, but hopefully something good. Maybe I'll have a bite of something here before I go. If I have all those bagels, I could have a bite of bagel. Good morning. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm literally running around the studio. Oh my God, I just turned that power bar off when it was supposed to be on. Um, Mostly running late because I had to quickly write something out for pad. But actually really mostly running late because I decided last minute I needed one of those bagels that my client brought me yesterday and I had to eat it immediately. Um, so it's my own doing. Where am I going? Um, what's not? Oh, the overhead snow. Wow. Very confused today apparently. Just finished up with my client, and now I don't have another client until, I don't know, maybe 5.30, 6-ish? I don't actually remember. Um, I was supposed to have another client in between, but um, they texted me this morning, early morning canceling, um, which has been a little bit of a, a something. So I, I have my cancellation policies in place, which um, when you book an appointment with me, you agree to like the terms and conditions and policies and stuff. Um, and unfortunately this person has just decided that um, my policies are ridiculous and they shouldn't be charged their 50% fee for their last minute cancellation. Um, yeah, and they're letting me have it, which isn't very nice. Um, I'm extremely lucky. I almost never have this happen, but when it does, it's like my adrenaline is just rushing. Um, yeah, so that sucks. 
just remember people when you're booking with small independents um, read their policies make sure you're good with them make sure you're aware of them um, before actually booking in because yeah I hate having to like having people text yell at me and telling me that my policies are ridiculous and yeah it sucks <laughs> anyways Okay, so I just posted on my story, basically a reminder to everyone about my policies and to please read them before booking in. Um, and one of my old clients messaged me and they're basically just asking for the details of what happened. Um, and I basically told them, I was like, yeah, I have an appointment available for gel single color at three. And usually we would do like extensions and wild art on them and stuff like that. Um, and they were like, oh, I was on my way to shoppers anyway to get press on nails. So this feels like fate. So I'll just come in and just get solid color if you're willing to work with what I've got going on, which is so amazing. So A, I get to see a client who I haven't seen in quite a long time, which is really nice. Um, and then B, my spot is filled in a very, very nice way. <laughs> like it's warming my heart to think that such an um, unfortunate situation was really turned around by one of my amazing nail people. So. I'm very happy. I'm gonna have a snack because they're gonna arrive. They're coming, they're coming at three. They're coming in a half an hour. So I'm gonna have a snack and then, yeah, that's really nice. I'm feeling very warmed by that. my final client of the day I'll insert actually you would have just seen the video I'm not inserting anything um, but I uh, filmed the entire thing so I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of doing that set which is exciting it's nice having friend clients um, other than that nothing too exciting now it's 8 o'clock I am hungry um, verging on hangry actually um, not quite there though and I'm just gonna get cleaned up and then I'm going to go home. Big day tomorrow, three appointments. Oh, actually only two of them are art heavy, but they're both art heavy, um, but it will, it'll be good. I'm excited. fun day today because my bestie Vanessa is coming in and I haven't seen her in forever so um I was doing a closet sale a little while ago and she messaged me saying she wanted a purse that I was selling um and obviously I'm just gonna give it to her but she had e-transferred me the $20 for it it's so cute um, and I was like, no, you're dumb. You shouldn't have done that. So I'm just filling it with stuff. <laughs> um, so actually last night I messaged her, I had a whole bunch of like anything I received in like PR, like skincare wise and stuff. I have a whole box of it, but a lot of the time it fills up. So usually like once a year, I'll go through and I'll pack it all up and I'll um, take it to a women's shelter or give it to my mom because she'll drop off a bunch of stuff at the women's shelter. Um, but so I just messaged her being like, do you want anything from this box? Um, so she has requested some SPF, an exfoliant, and then she wanted to smell, I have two Valentino perfumes. She wanted to smell those to see if she liked them. So I brought those for her to check out. Um, but then I took that $20 and I went and bought two blind boxes. 
Um, that just looked very cute. They're only 10 bucks each. They're from Mini Snow, so they weren't very expensive. So that was her $20 spent. Um, and then I also have this Necessaire Scalp Serum, which I thought she might like. Um, so I'm just gonna pack it all for what I can fit into this little purse. It's got three pockets. It's very cute. I thrifted this purse. Um, I really do like it, but I just, my purses in my closet are like way up top. And so I never actually like switch out my, like I switch out my purses from time to time, but it's usually just like for like a rotation of three bags. Um, so yeah, so I never actually get to use the ones I thrift. Okay. I'll leave these ones out because she's not sure taking them. But everything else is packed inside. This purse fits a lot. Anyway, so I'm super excited for her to come in. We're doing a set today inspired by New Jeans, the K-pop group, um, who I've been loving their music as of late, and so has she, so that's super fun. There's this one photo where all their outfits are really great. Um, we're gonna do that. But first I have a clay copy in for a single color. Um, so yeah, gonna get ready for that. Um, and the mass is in, and then I have a two, three art after that. So a very fun day. So I just finished up with my last client of the day and I am tired. Also, I filmed uh, Vanessa's set, did a whole video on it, so I'll post a tutorial on that. But I was just looking at my photos and my lens was dirty when I was shooting photos, which sucks. Um, I think I'll be able to edit it, but you know, one of those things. And we were running late, so uh, I didn't get a chance to look at the photos while she was still here. But it is what it is. So I'm just gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe down some of my bottles because my bottles are a mess. Um, okay, I'm gonna wipe down some of my bottles and get cleaned up and go home. I'm hungry, which I feel like I always am by the end of the day, but Vanessa actually brought, brought juicy dumplings or got delivered juicy dumplings for lunch today. So that was very nice and delicious. And I'm gonna listen to audiobooks while I do everything. So I am entertained. Okay, so long. Hello and happy 
Happy Sunday. Pat was already in my studio. That's why all the lights are on. Um, he's shooting photos of some new hats that he made. <sighs> I did a 20K bike ride on my trainer this morning. Um, which I've done, like, in the past week. It's not really that much. Like, Pat and I regularly ride 40Ks in the summer. But I'm very, um... I'm gonna say out of shape, I think because I do a lot less these days, that my legs are wishing they were detached from my body and laying somewhere right now. I am glad I get to sit down all day and do nails, but it's been hard to get into the studio. Uh, I have two appointments today. Uh, there's a chance I may have a little bit of a break in between the two, so I brought my laptop in case I do, so I can do a little video editing, but I don't know how that'll work out. I get cleaned up. Um, I'm actually very hungry too, so I might make some Mr. Noodles, which has been a very long time since I've had any Mr. Noodles, so I'm all about that. That's about it, and then I realized I thought my next appointment was at 3, but it's at 3.30, so I'm gonna have an hour and a half. Well, I have an hour and a half as of now, so I'm definitely gonna do some video editing. Also, I sound so echoey right now. I wonder why. Anyways, good day that. Big day today, folks. Beyonce pre-sale tickets going on sale, 2 p.m. I'm very excited. I take my Beyonce very seriously. In terms of nail things, um, I have two appointments and a fix today. I think I'm having issues with my lamp because basically my client reached out to me. She came in the other day to get her nails done and she's like, hey, my index and my thumb aren't as shiny as the others. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Like maybe the top cure coat just didn't fully cure but I remember like I specifically remember sitting there waiting for it to hit over 60 uh, seconds so I could swap in the other hand like I very very specifically remember that and it's a 60 second cure so I'm like that's super super bizarre and then the next day I went to go use that same top coat and that that client we had done red on I went to go use that same top coat and the entire ball of top coat was tinted red so obviously like the red hadn't fully cured and the top coat didn't fully cure. So I don't know, it's a, the gel bottle light, which I did have one of mine, like lots of the lights in it stopped working. They were flickering really bad. Um, and some just went out. So they're covered by warranty. So the gel bottle did replace the light for me. And so this is the replacement and I haven't had it for very long. Um, I follow all the instructions of like, I don't keep it plugged in. I use like, um, what's the plug that like, protects if there's like a power outage, use that. Um, so I'm really weirded out by it. I may have to find myself a new lamp. So if anyone has any suggestions on good lamps, uh, let me know because it's not convenient when I offer uh, LED cured services. So I received a little YSL PR package this morning. Very luxe, feeling very lucky. Um, but I got the black opium perfume, the new one. Um, so I'm wearing that today. It smells really nice. It's like vanilla and warm and like a little bit of floral in there. And then I also got this lip product, which is the Candy Glaze. I don't even want to talk about it. It is so nice. It's like, it's like light, light, light pink. It's just like perfectly glossy, but like super hydrating. It smells like watermelon. 
Yeah, so I'm obsessed and I'm kind of pissed off because I'm going to have to go get more of them. Also pissed off about the mascara that they sent too because, I mean, it's all over my eyelids, but I'm going to have to be buying this now. I have a stash of Maybelline, um, it's the green, green edition mascara at home. Um, and I love that, but now I love this. It's going to be an issue. And I did just get some new stones. So I ordered some black crystals. People are starting to request them. This is a terrible, you can't see what those look like. And then I also got some red crystals as well. That's here. Okay, it might be easier to see now. So these are the red plain crystals in all different sizes. And these ones are shades. How cute. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even notice that there are little red bows. Oh shit. Are those bows? Yeah, those are bows. Mm, okay. I think I might have to use those for my Valentine's Day set. And then black crystals, which I'm gonna like decant. Guess what? I'm so excited. We're like not sitting in great seats, which is totally fine with me. And slash I'm fine not spending a fortune on tickets. But we're going to Beyonce. Me and Vanessa, I am so excited. July 8th, I believe. I'm just gonna be on cloud nine for the rest of the day. So I just got in a parcel from Luna Beauty Store and Aurora Nail Supply. They're the same owner two separate websites so i ordered from each of them and then they do this thing where you can combine your shipping so they're based in australia um one of um someone on instagram actually sent me the link to them because i was looking for a few specific products on two separate occasions actually so i want to show you guys what i got so cute so on the first occasion i was looking for a white 3d gel which i have so this is the zigzag gel from jello jello um, this is actually my first Jello Jello product, although I do want to try the peel-off base coat, but I'm excited about this. I specifically like 3D products in the tube. I just find them a little bit easier to work with. Everything's a bit cold right now, too, because it just came off the truck. But that looks perfect. It reminds me a lot of the... Um, Bella Chew It Gel as well. This is exactly what I wanted, so very excited about that. The second product I was looking for was the Yogo Silky Beam Gel. This is like a 3D gel. In the most amazing color. So it's like this iridescent pinky color, and it's like you can use it to sculpt, create charms, that kind of thing. Like, bit cold it literally looks like plastic but it's the gel i'm gonna leave this to warm up a little bit because i can feel it it's freezing but yeah this looks like it's gonna be beautiful i'm so excited to use this and then with this in mind actually i ended up seeing this blanc blanc oops little mold set and it's to make three little 3d molds so i think even the small size looks like it's gonna be pretty big. The big size is obviously <laughs> massive. Um, but I thought in addition to like using this regularly with gel, I thought I could use the Yogo um, gel in there and be super fun to make my own little charms. Speaking of charms, look at these. They threw these in there for free. They're so cute, little cow hearts, mint cow hearts. Um, okay, so these ones, they're all looking a bit clear and funny, but they're the UV color. Um, so you put them, you can see they're slightly, like these guys are slightly shifting color, but you put these in your light or you go outside with these and they change color. So they go from clear to whatever the designated color is. Let's pull out my light and test them. Pack number one. Whoa, that's so cool. I've never experienced these in real life. This is so fun. Okay, let's see the next. Oh my god. 
That is the coolest thing ever. I also love that these have all different size hearts in them too. Oh my God, this is so fun. Okay, let's do another. Cute. These are like the perfect little like blushy colored hearts. Okay. Bows. Aww. So cute. Oh my God, there's so many of these bows. I didn't even realize until just now. That's amazing. Aw, these are so cute and like peachy. Oh my God, okay. This is so fun, okay. Let me turn this off here. You can see the blue one faded out really fast. It's gone to like this like yellow color, but the other ones are, they're definitely softening, but they're holding their color a lot more. So that's pretty interesting. And then finally in my little parcel, I also got I, more heart charms. But these ones are, oops, these ones are actually little pink iridescent ones, which funnily, funnily enough, I feel like when I make my little hearts out of the Yogo gel, they'll probably look relatively similar to these. These have a really, really pretty shift to them. Perfect in time for Valentine's Day. I've got to definitely post about these on Instagram to make sure my clients know that they can get them. And that's all. Just finished up my last line of the day. I'm gonna sign off here because it is the end of my week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time.